Hey guys, today we are going to practice creating a vector drawing of an ice cream cone in Gravit Designer. So the first thing you want to do is download a picture of the ice cream cone that I posted on your digital design Google Classroom page. Uh, once you've got that downloaded, you can click on, uh, you can go to Gravit Designer and click on File, New Design if it's already pulled up. If not, it will pull up this box and we want to just uh, make sure we're working in inches first. And let's just put in 10 by 10. It's a good uh, size to work with and we'll say Create. Okay, from here, we need to import our ice cream cone picture and we're just gonna continue working on using the pen tool to create complex shapes. So once you have your ice cream cone picture downloaded, you can click down here and say place image. Uh, mine's already downloaded, so I'm just gonna click and drag it. And this ice cream cone picture should appear. Go ahead and center it in the middle. And we're going to start using our pen tool uh, to trace around this ice cream cone. Now, whenever you start thinking about tracing this cone, don't start thinking about the whole shape as one. Think about it in terms of the different shapes that you see. So we have the cone and we have all of these um, lines in the ice cream, uh, but the basic two shapes are the cone and the ice cream. Once we have this shape down and this shape down uh, and drawn with the pen tool, then we can go in and start adding in these details. So once you've got the picture in, you'll notice that the layers panel is pulled uh, up over here and your ice cream cone picture is being shown. From here, we can start tracing onto our cone using the pen tool. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and change my color to um, maybe something bright for now so that I know I can see it. Just click on blue. And then I'll go back in later and change that to um, a specific more color that looks like um, more like a cone. Okay, I'm gonna start with the cone first because it's got nice straight lines. So just getting in the hang in the groove of using the pen tool again. And I'm gonna start where I think the cone would start. Now, if this ice cream wasn't here, I bet the cone would maybe have a line right here and that's where it would start. So I'm just gonna click uh, right here. Just click once. That's uh, starting our path. And then now you can see we've got um, our path and we can just drag it down here and make another point. Now I'm gonna zoom in. You can see that the end of the ice cream cone isn't a straight point, but it's curved. So I'm gonna click here and make this a solid line. I might curve it a little bit. This one's a tiny bit curved. I'm just clicking with my left hand and dragging with my right until I get a curve of my cone that I want. And I'm gonna let go. Now right now I've got this uh, curve here that isn't quite even if I stretch it, it's not quite matching up with the end of the cone. So I'm just gonna click to end that so I don't have any handlebars. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna click down here and start curving around this cone, clicking with my left and dragging with my right. And then from here, uh, I want this shape filled in. So to fill in a shape, you have to close it off. So I'm gonna end and close off my shape right here. There's a little circle you can see next to the pen tool. That means it's closed and now it's filled in. Now what I'm gonna do for now is hide the fill because here in a little bit, I'm gonna need to see some of the details, some of these curved lines and this ice cream detail. Okay, so there is the basic cone shape. Now I'm gonna draw the basic uh, ice cream shape. So this one is a little bit trickier because we've got some curves, but I'm gonna start up here at the top uh, because it's a nice clean point. And I'm gonna click here to start, just click once. And then now I can start creating these curves. Okay, so now I have my cone, my ice cream uh, filled in. I'm gonna hide that again. Uh, but you'll notice that I've got a solid line connecting around the whole thing. What we want is that to be an enclosed shape. Remember, if your path lines are not connected, the shape will not enclose. It'll just be a series of small lines next to each other. So always make sure if you need to connect 
let's say I have a line here and I ended it and I need to continue this path, make sure that you can see the line, click on the subselect tool and click on the path so we can see all of our points. Then you can click on the pen tool and continue where you left off. If you don't see that blue line going through the whole uh, path, then your shape is not going to enclose. So make sure you do that. Okay, from here, what we can do and hide this is start going in and adding in some of our details. So all of these individual lines here, um, I want to draw them. So I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm just going to start going in with each of these on each of these lines and start creating uh, some solid lines. Now I have this line and this path wants to continue, but it's just a line. I don't need uh, to create any shapes. I'm just making lines. So I can just click enter to end that path and make a new one. So I'm going to click here, make it kind of curve, click enter. You can see we filled in all of the lines uh, going across on this cone. What you might want to do is go in and zoom in really close, click on the subselect tool, so the drop down and subselect, and go in and fix some of these lines. So this one right here, I know I can drag it this way. This one's kind of hanging off the edge. I'll drag it in and uh, just fix some of these messy lines. Once you've got it, it should look something like this. I've cleaned up all of my lines. You can see all of these look pretty nice and neat. Um, they're all going to the edge. Next thing that I'm going to do is start filling in some of these lines here. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did for these. I'm just going to come in and add in um, some lines to divide up this ice cream cone. And it'll look something like this when you're done. But the ice cream looks like whenever you've got some of those dividing lines separating out the different layers of the ice cream of the swirl. What we can do now is start filling in some of our background shapes. So I'm going to click on the pointer tool and I'm going to try to locate the background of the cone in the background of my ice cream. So over here I can click on it's this one right here, the very first shape that I created right there. And now I can fill it in and I'm going to fill it in using the eyedropper tool. And I'm just going to click on the eyedropper tool and choose kind of a a middle color, maybe like that one. So there's the cone, the cone color. Then I'm going to click on the next path line up here, the one of my ice cream. There we go. And I'm going to choose, you can make it chocolate, vanilla, whatever you want to make it. And I'm going to make mine, maybe I'll make mine uh, strawberry. Now from here, we've got all of these blue lines, very weird. So we're going to select all of those lines by doing this. Well, first I'm gonna hide the ice cream cone. And I'm just going to take my cursor and click and drag. And you can see I'm selecting all of those lines, but it's over selecting some things. So I actually don't want a few of these. I'm just gonna hold shift and Click on the ones that I don't want so that it will deselect some of those lines. I don't want that outside one either. So now it's selecting all of, you can see all of the path lines, and I'm going to change the color to maybe like a dark brown. Oh, I changed the fill. Let's change the border color to dark brown. There we go. Now to make the top of the ice cream look like it's on top of this cone instead of all of these lines being hidden, again I'm going to click and drag and select all of these lines that I want. There we go. And you can see I've selected all of the lines in the ice cream. And now I'm just going to right click and say arrange. Bring it to front. Now it has brought all of those path lines to the front of the stack of our layers so that all of these other lines are hidden in the back. Now it looks like our ice cream actually is on top of the ice cream cone. 
from here, I'm going to go in and change uh, these path lines. I don't like out, um, outside borders around things, so I'm going to get rid of that on the outside. And then go in and select all of these extra inside lines. And maybe I want to make them um, a slightly darker pink. So let's say borderline, and I'll do maybe that color. Yeah, I want it light pink. There we go. And there's uh, an ice cream cone. From here, if you want, you can add sprinkles or you can add like a little cherry on the top if you'd like. Maybe sitting down in here. Uh, whatever you'd like to do, uh, make it your own, change up the color, uh, and just have fun with it. Good luck. I hope it goes really well. When you're done, download it. Uh, save it to the Gravit Cloud and then say File, Export as a JPEG.